Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through 10 ideas for how you can beat the boredom and use any extra time that you have to expand your creativity. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one is to try a new medium. Maybe you're used to only using one medium. Maybe you're a master of charcoal or graphite, but it can be really fun to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. So if you are used to working in graphite or charcoal, then maybe it's time to give color a try. Or if you're just used to drawing, maybe pick up some painting supplies and give that a go. It can be really fun to just try something new and to expand your knowledge by learning a new medium. Tip number two is to challenge yourself. If you have lots of extra time on your hands, then it could finally be the time to try that big project that you've always wanted to give a go. Maybe you've dreamt of doing a really large scale painting on a big canvas, or maybe there's a reference photo that's full of tons of photorealistic details that you just haven't felt confident or ready to give a go. But if you have a lot of time or you're feeling really bored, then maybe it is time to get stuck into a big project that can keep you entertained for weeks or even months. Idea number three is to fill in a sketchbook. Come on, you know you've probably got a half finished sketchbook lying somewhere. We all have, but maybe it's time to actually get one of those finished. And you can do this by dedicating some time each day to just filling in one page of your sketchbook. You'll be surprised how quickly that sketchbook will fill up if you actually do spend some time on it every day. And it really doesn't matter what you create in your sketchbook, you can use it to try new things, to just go out for a walk and just draw something that you see. You can use it for whatever you want, but the idea of painting or drawing every day will improve your skills really fast and it will get you into a good habit of actually creating regularly. Number four is to try a new subject matter. Maybe you're used to just drawing portraits and that's all you do. Well, maybe it's time to give an animal study a go or more of a still life or floral study would be great. And it's good to try different subject matters because it will help you expand your techniques because you need different techniques to draw fur and animals than you do for say skin and for a portrait. So by trying different subject matters, you will learn new things and you'll progress as an artist and it will help you improve your skills. And you may learn things from those other subject matters that you can apply to your favorite subject matter that you're used to working in. Idea number five is to limit your color scheme. So this is a great way to test your capabilities by limiting your resources and your art supplies and seeing just how far you can use the techniques that you've learned to utilize those couple of colors that you've given yourself to create some really great artwork. So maybe try doing a colored pencil portrait with only five colors or maybe just use one color and do a watercolor study and use that to help learn the difference of values. It can be really fun to give yourself a challenge and just see how far you can stretch your own abilities and stretch your art supplies, see how you can make the most out of the art supplies that you do have. Because a lot of us feel that we need so many different colors and so many different materials to make a good piece of art when that's really not the case. And by limiting your color scheme, it will help challenge you to see just how far you can actually use those art supplies and how far you can push your own skills. Just before we move on to the next idea, if you do wanna use this time to level up your art skills, then over on my Patreon, I have got over 300 real-time tutorials for drawing and painting for lots of different mediums, including watercolor, colored pencil, charcoal, and more. For just a small amount per month, you will access all of these tutorials and get access to all of the resources you need, including the reference image, sketch outline, and materials list, so that you can follow along with the tutorials yourself. And you can use this to level up your art skills, improve your techniques, but also just have a load of fun art projects that you can have a go at during this time. 
I'll leave a link to my Patreon at the top of the description and I'll also leave the link for the website that I created that just shows all of the tutorials that I do have available over on my Patreon so that you can check that out before you pledge to see what there is on there that would interest you. But let's get back into the video. Number six is to learn a new technique. Now you may think that you've mastered your medium and there's nothing else that you could possibly learn, but in reality, all of us have things to learn. We never, we never stop learning. There's always new things and new techniques, new skills that we can learn. And there's never an end goal. There's always gonna be new things that you can learn. So why not take some time and use your time if you are a bit bored to actually go on YouTube look on Google and look up some articles and try and learn some new techniques and have a little practice, make some studies practicing those techniques and expand your art knowledge. Idea number seven is one of my personal favorites and that is to redraw something that you've already created because it can be really difficult to see the progress that you've made, especially when it's happening at a really slow pace and you may not realize how much you have improved. So maybe pick a drawing that you sketched out a couple of years ago and just try and do the same piece again. It will really quickly show you how much you have evolved and how far you have come with your art skills. And it can be a really fun way to just test how far you've come and to see how you would do that artwork differently if you was to redraw it. Number eight is to create some art using minimal art supplies. So unlike limiting your colors, in this one, I want you to just limit the amount of art supplies that you have. It can be really, really easy to feel like you need all of these tons of supplies to make good artwork. Really, you need a lot less than you think. So I challenge you to do a drawing with just one pencil and a sheet of paper, nothing else, no erasers, no nothing. You can use a sharpener to sharpen that pencil, but that is it. Now, the perfect way that you can do this is use a black piece of paper and a white colored pencil. They, they work really well together and I'd love to see what you create. If you do create something using black paper and a white pencil, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Kirsty's Art. I'd love to see what you guys create and I frequently put what you create on my stories to show everyone else and to share all the amazing talent that you guys have. So make sure to just share whatever you're working on, in fact, over on my Instagram. But that's definitely a really fun challenge that you guys can have a go at. And that's actually something that I'm probably gonna do a YouTube video on quite soon, how to use black paper with a white pencil because I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything like that on my channel yet. Idea number nine is to create something for someone that you love. It can be super, super satisfying to put a big smile on someone's face. So why not use the time that you have to work on a project that you can give to someone that you really care about. Maybe they have a favorite TV show or game or artist, like music artist, whatever, that they really like and you could create some fan art of them and gift it to someone that you really care about. It's a great way to brighten up someone's day and it will give you a really feel good feeling. And finally, number 10 is to turn your art into a side hustle and use the extra time that you have to try and create some money and generate some money from your art. So you could take on some art commissions or you could work on some really cool designs that you can upload to places like Redbubble and put onto lots of merchandise like phone cases, t-shirts and generate some passive income through that. So you could use this time to learn lots about how you can turn your passion for art into a side hustle that will bring you in some extra income. And I've actually got a video that I uploaded recently on 15 ways that you can make money from your art. So I'll link that up above. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other ideas for how you can expand your creativity if you have some extra time or you're feeling a bit bored. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. And even tick that bell icon so you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.